more known to be a fad but in reality it's an amazing thing that we interact with almost every day mobile cloud computing is something more of a common uh, usage thing these days so we'd look at uh, it in a very uh, basic form and uh, we'll try to understand the applications that we use essentially are uh, mobile uh, cloud computing applications for that we are going to refer to the a focus group technical recommendations 2012 document again uh, we uh, would look at the definition of a mobile cloud and then some applications so mobile cloud is essentially a mobile connected to the cloud here a relatively low end mobile phone could use mobile applications through a browser web based interface um and could actually access some really heavy applications because the heavy applications are powered and hosted using the cloud infrastructure it means that uh, resource heavy uh, data intensive storage and processing requirements are not the headache of the mobile phone anymore but it is uh, now the responsibility of cloud the resources uh, such as the computing environment the platform to execute different apps are available on the cloud and could be downloaded through um um interfaces or front ends or the apis on um itunes or play store um mobile cloud could also offer something on the mobile end as well for example each mobile phone has a basic camera gps and array of uh, uh, sensors uh some 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 transducers uh, and onboard memory if a mobile phone wishes to uh, make these public and probably do something in a tit for tat or a give and take manner uh, could actually make these services accessible to others via the mobile cloud for that some essential um uh, software has to be supported for example web capabilities uh, like uh, html um then some uh, device api which is provided either by the cloud service provider or the um mobile application developer then some interaction mechanism has to be ensured between the devices again this could be the responsibility of the csp or mobile application development company um since each mobile phone has some specific um um screen size and uh, specifications so the responsibility now lies with the cloud environment to offer um the output in something which is renderable at the um mobile phone so broadly we could look at in a very birds eye view we could think about mobile cloud computing as uh, is as as a mesh of uh, mobile devices which are not directly connected to each other for using technologies like wifi or bluetooth but are connected to to the to the cloud to have access to the array of services which are offered at the cloud and each mobile phone could have services accessible from other mobile phones or could offer its services to the uh, uh, mobile phones through the cloud let's look at some example implementations uh, which support mobile cloud features uh, we are all um, well conversant with amazon web services not many people would know about hp adaptive infrastructure it's something similar to aws now this is an example of infrastructure as a service then we could have a, a platform as a service uh, we could have windows that uh, could be used on mobile phone if the mobile phone is using another operating system it could use on the browser uh, window as azure services as well and uh, as a software we could think about salesforce and uh, uh, any other application which is running on the cloud i gave the example of uh, the rasta uh, application provided by the motorway police and then what is required on the client end the client all has to do is run uh, either a custom built mobile application which is developed by a company or could have simple access to a browser again this focus group on cloud computing technical report is the reference for us 